You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for the next video in our Retro Happy Meal series. And I'm very excited about this set because we've had requests for it, and it's very unique. It is the Inspector Gadget set from 1999. Go, go, twisting tongue. Can you say this times five times fast? Gliding greased gears give gadget grace. Wow. So we have the original bag and all eight toys. And what's unique about it is that this creates one giant figure. You can see upper torso, a leg here, an arm, uh, probably his chest area. This looks like a watch, his hat. So I got to open each one and slowly build this. But let me do this. I'm going to come back here with just the bag. So we'll take a look at that. I'm not sure if you've ever seen the bag. Now, other people have done this set of toys, but probably not showing you the bag. So let's do that next. All right, so this is the 1999 Disney's Inspector Gadget Only in Theaters Happy Meal Bag. And this is the one panel that I showed you already. Let's turn it to this side. And it says, let's see, what tune does the Gadget Mobile sing? And then uh, uh, it says, why a cartoon, of course. Hmm. And where does the Gadget Mobile go to swim? At the carpool. Well, while I have the camera flipped down here, let's, oh, nope, this one stands up. So here is, let's see. Systems overload. You're seeing triple, but only one of these inspector gadgets and Brenda's is the real thing. Spot the duo that is different from the rest. So leave that in the comments. I'll leave that there. Ooh, let me get his shoes just in case there's some difference there. Pretty neat. And then the last panel is this big panel here on the other side. So it says, you're on the case with Inspector Gadget. Help find the three images in the magnifying glasses somewhere in this lab. So there's a set of dials on yellow, which is this one up here. And this one has a set of dials with two red dots in the middle, which has to be that one. And this one uh, might take a little bit of time on this one. Hmm. Where is that? It might be up here in this light. All right. Now let's just look at the bottom just to see if the year's on there. Oh, there's the answers. So 1999. All right. So that's the bag. Pretty cool. So let's move on to toy number one and check it out. All right. I said toy number one, but it's technically a body part. Inspector Gadget. It's the Narvik 7 Sparker. And I'm happy to report I found my strange Weck Aqua Blue Scissors. I like these because the tip was very pointy and I can pierce the bag easy and then make an incision there so that I can take the toy piece out. Let's look at that. Now look at the size of just the upper torso and you'll get an idea how big this is going to end up being. Alright, so let's see. Head spins. Okay, so you could push this down. Was there instructions in there? Yes. All right, let's take a look at the front. Get all eight toys to build your own Inspector Gadget. That's the final build. Toy one. So push his head and watch the sparks fly. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, it's in there. They're right in this section right here. See that? Okay, so it won't push down all the way or that way. So you really need the head in the front position. Well, I need to show this in the dark now because I think there's a chest plate that's going to go over that. So let's check it out in the dark. All right, I am here in the dark. Here we go. That is cool. You can almost see a color change. Let's see if the camera picks it up closer I get. Now it's not going to focus great, but it's just too fast and hard for this camera to understand what is going on. Alright, so we've seen that. Let's go back to light and get toy number two. Alright, so the number two part is an arm. Now before I go any further, who's seen the movie and who likes the movie? I checked out on the 
IMDb site. And uh, it's a two-star movie to uh, those reviewers there. So let us know in the comments. Arm Grabber. Now you could just tell. it's The quality is really nice on these. It's a heavier plastic. What does this do? Press the button. So if you're facing him, it is the left arm. Huh. Does this go in and out? It should. Yep, there it goes. Oh, that's nice. I can maybe use that in a video. Hey, good to meet you. Good to meet you too, Mr. Inspector Gadget. So it extends out. Okay, so when the button was pressed, it was harder to extend. When you take your finger off the button, then it's easier to extend. So this is like a screw, as you can see. It looks like a screw. You got the G gadget there, so that's what it looks like to me. Not sure, I think that is. So you've got a hand that grabs. Well, it picks something up. Hmm. Let me get a screwdriver. How's that? If we can grab a screwdriver, we know it can pick something up, but I gotta find my mini screwdriver. Hold on just a second. There's one. Hmm, and look, it's a perfect size for his hand. An inspector gadget. Yeah, it will pick up a screwdriver. Let's see if I can grab it off the table. Oh yeah, look at that. It's right in his fingertips. I won't hold it very strong, but it's there. Whoop, drop my screwdriver. Yeah, it'd be nice to have a little helper in the video than a hand like that. Get over here. Thanks. All right, let's stick this on. So facing us, it is this arm, which would make sense, I guess. And you just slide that in. Ooh. Look at him go. Let's see what number three is. No stopping now. Number three is his watch. It's the Inspector Gadget watch belt. I'm not sure we can put that on just yet. Let's see where it goes on the whole Inspector Gadget set. I doubt it still works, but we'll see. Press the purple button once to see the date or twice to see the seconds. So this does go around his waist. So I can't actually put this one on yet. But, let's see. Yeah, nothing. But that's okay. We're just going to figure out this belt in a little bit. So that is the next one. Let's just set that there. And for those of you who wonder, are we killing the value of these toys? Uh, we probably are losing some value, but we do take care of them, pack them up the way we found them. And, but, you know, it is fun to see, isn't it? Okay, so four is Inspector Gadget's leg tool. Look, at that's a chunky leg. I actually remember the movie clips from this, back to 1999. Oh, it's like a set of pliers in here. So this is his left leg, and there's tool. There's a tool built in. Hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, this comes out too. Oh, and he's got something on his heel, like an injector on his. Oh, that's the lock, maybe. Look at that. Well, all right. So now I have a working. Inspector Gadget pair of pliers. Nice. That actually grips better than the hand. Hmm. Let me just check all this again now. I did that to that. That to that. Okay, so his leg comes out. Ooh, look how tall his leg is. And then this opened seems like it's locked when I do that and unlocked when I do that. Is there some kind of trigger in there? Hmm. I'm not sure if it's related or not, but that just seems how it works. Let me try one more time. Lock that there. Oh, no, it still works. Okay, so it's just 
a matter of unhooking it correctly. All right. Nice leg. So it extends, and then this pops down. All right. Let's get it on. Here you go, Inspector Buddy. So again, this was his left leg. Ooh, look at that. He's tall. I gotta lay him down now. Alright, here we go. Number five. Oh good, it's his other leg. Leg circuit signal signaler. This was the leg tool. Okay, so this is the signaler. Let's see what's going on, Mr. Signaler. Oh, look at the side of that. Oh, okay, switches and buttons here. Oh, there's a battery in here, it looks like. I don't see anything turning on. Looks like it's a switch that goes up and down. And it looks like there's a potential flashlight in the end here. Hmm, so this makes the connection to the battery, so let's see if I can get into this. Let me put it on him. Right, that looks like the front. The back. Let's stand him up. You know, I said in another video I'm trying to get that tool set. I'm just trying to find the right one that's not cheap. A nice set that I can get to all the different screws. So let me uh, let me finish here. Let me go to the next one, and then I'm going to try to fix that flashlight a little later. So number six, Inspector Gadget Arm Squirter. Ooh, I get to do a squirt gun. Well, see now I got to get a bowl of water and a towel. Ooh, look at that. So that was open and closed. I just had it, and then this looks like the pumper down here to pump the water. It's almost like a little blaster. And you put the water in here. Oh, yeah. I gotta give this one a shot. Ah, literally, a water shot. Well, let me do that now before I put it on in case it leaks everywhere. So let me grab up grab some water, fill it up, come right back. All right, got a towel, got a bowl of water. I figured I would just fill it from you for you right here instead of at the sink. Let's see if this works. Too much. Doesn't want to go in. There we go. I'll do three of these and see if that allow us to at least test it real quick here. Also to see, didn't want to fill it up all the way and come back and just have it all leak out. Can't go too fast. Okay, let's see. Close it up. Ooh. It works. More water. I know I could do this by the sink a lot faster, but then I'm not here with you. I think I found my rhythm here with the water. Okay, let's do it again. That actually squirts pretty good. Alright, and it holds quite a bit. And it looks like it is 
not leaking anywhere, which is a good sign. So let me uh, put this one on him. Get his arm in there. Okay, so he can grab, he can shoot. Get some of this water. All right, number seven. So now we can get his chest together. This is the secret communicator. Another battery. I'm going to have to get that tool set sooner so I can make sure I can replace batteries in these. Okay, that was the instructions. It was just pull this. Ooh, okay, so it's a, like a sticker area. Ooh, it plays. Okay, that repeated. Stop, stop. All right. I think we heard them all. Okay, hey, cool. Let's get that chest plate on him. And it looks like all these four pins match the holes, so it should be pretty easy. Now his arms are locked in. Let's get his belt on. I wonder if you just stretch it. Oh, wait. You missed that. Sorry, everybody. Let's see if I can get it apart. There you go. Let's do that again. All right, here you put the plate on because... Those four holes match those four pins, okay? Now you put his belt on, arms up. Whoop. Thanks, Inspector Gadget. Ooh, that's gonna be tough. Gotta really stretch it. Okay, well that's how they showed it in the picture. Let me get that one again. That was the watch belt. Okay, yeah, that shows it right there. Right there. Okay, so the last now, making a little mess here, is number eight. So you get back here. And number eight is the siren hat. Ooh, lots going on. Lots going on. See how exciting this one is? This one to me. Probably one of the coolest we've ever shown you. Siren hat. So it looks like you're spinning the top with your finger. I wonder if it makes a sound. That's what it is. Oh yeah. It sure does. Let's see if I can do that uh, right over the microphone. Let's lock that on his head. This time I will set the camera right. Let's see how nice that fits. Snug. Okay, it looks like it's smaller on the front, bigger on the back, so I would assume that's the way the hat goes. It stays on pretty good. All right, look at that. Check it out. Grab it. All right, let me clean up my tabletop, come back, and then just look over the whole toy again. All right, so there you go. He is 13 and a half inches tall without his leg, legs extended. So let's get those legs popped out. Look at that. Oop, this one's not holding as nice. So now, with his legs extended... He is, well, if I put this the right way, 
just about 15 inches tall with his legs extended. Okay, so the grippy hand. Let me put him back down, a little more stable that way. You have your squirt gun, it's gonna squirt at me. Okay, Not, nothing coming out there. And then, of course you've got the watch. Now the one leg does not work. So this is the one down here. This one does not work. Hmm. So I'll have to investigate that later. And of course the head action, when you push down on his head, and then the arms go up and down, they click in the position. So you can turn his head, you know. Inspector Gadget. Go, go, Gadget. And then his feet extend. Now you don't have any other, ooh, you've got a, some twist to the waist, so you can twist the waist just a little bit. Not a lot, but there is some movement there. Ooh, sorry, let me hold your head. Wow, he's hard to even fit in here, he's so tall, being this tall. So I'd have to reach way in there to really play with him. All right, I think we're, I think a little slideshow's in order. For those of you that like the slideshows, well, you know, you can keep watching. We appreciate it. But I want to kind of get some of the details that I might have missed. Take some pictures of it in different positions. So you can see. So that is the 1999 Inspector Gadget the movie set with Matthew Broderick. Does it look like him? Well, I'll give you some shots in the slideshow. And thanks for watching. If you want to see more, Retro Happy Meal Toys, there will be a link in the description for our playlist. Or as always, search our channel. And what's coming up next week? I have it here. And I've never heard of it. So, let's see. Fans, as you can see, we have all of our Happy Meal Toys bag like this. This was the 1999 Mystic Knights. It looks like it was on Fox Kids. Was that your show? Was that the show you grew up on and loved? Well, we have the set here. That's coming up next week. So again, there'll be a slideshow for this. And thanks for watching. Later. Go, go, Gadget. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.